Okay, so our goal of this problem is to find the applied forces P and Q that are keeping the system in equilibrium. So, as we did before, we have to define position vectors to define the tension within these cables. So, I'm going to use some a different color, maybe like this color, to, to define the position vectors. And these platforms lie on the XZ plane, while this um, weight is below the XZ plane by a vertical distance of 400, and 400 millimeters. So we're going to define this position vector to the center of the platform. So this will be R1, this will be R2, and that's going to be R3, which points vertically downward. So now we can define um, our position vector. So this will be R1. Um, that'll be negative 0.130i, um, and then negative or positive 0.160k, and then R2 is going to be negative 150 or 0.150. I, and then we have a negative 0.240k, and then R3 is the simplest of all the vectors. That's going to be negative 0.400j. Now that we have those defined, we can define our position vectors. So I'm going to define the position vector going from here to here or direction vectors, I should say. That's going to be R, A, B. And then this position vector is going to be, or direction vector is going to be R, A, C. And R, A, C is going to be R, 2 minus R, 3, which goes downward. So what we get is going to be negative 0.150i plus 0.40j minus 0.240k. And then RAB is going to be R1 minus R3. So that's going to be negative 0.130i plus 0.40j plus 0.160k. So now we can define the position or the unit vectors going from A to B and A to C. So we could simply do that by using our definition of what a unit vector is. So UAC, that's going to be negative 0.150 plus 0.4j minus 0.24 K and all that divided by its magnitude, so it'll be 0 0.150 squared plus 0 0.4 squared plus 0 0.24 squared, all that square rooted. So what I get after plugging in plugging in these numbers, I get this unit vector. So I'm gonna repeat the process for A B. So now that we have the unit vectors for the tension in each cable, we could, and we're defining it from this point A to the points C and B, we could actually start drawing our free body diagram. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at this point as the free body diagram. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw the free body diagram in this fashion. So this is the point A. And we have a weight force going directly downward in the J direction. So that would be the weight force. Then this is going to be the applied force, P, and the applied force, Q. And then there's two tension forces acting upon this object. So that's going to be pointing in various directions. So this is going to be T, A, C, or B? I'm not sure. Is it C? It's C, and the other one's B. So T A C and T A B. And we have the unit vectors for 
um, AC and AB. So all we have to do is solve our system of equations given our static equilibrium problem or equation. So we're going to start off with um, the sum of the forces in the x direction. So the forces acting in the x direction is P, and that's pointing in the positive direction as given in the problem. And then we have the unit or the tension forces that act in the x direction. So this is going to be P, and then we get minus 0.625 TAC, and we get minus 0.289 TAB, and that is set equal to zero. And then some of the forces in the Y, so the only forces acting in the y direction is W and the tension forces. So W points downward, which is negative, and then we have TAC and TAB. So this will be plus 1.66 TAC, and then we get plus 0.889 TAB, which equals zero. And then we have the sum of the forces in the z direction which is simply going to be Q and then the tension forces. So that will be negative TAC plus 0.356 TAB, which equals zero. I am so sorry uh, if you solved this problem. I'll probably put something in the beginning of the video, but in the problem it states that the problem um, states that TAC actually equals the tension force in TAB. Um, I didn't I didn't realize that, and I realized I misspoke earlier when I said we had three unknowns and three equations. Really, we have four unknowns and three equations, so this system of equations cannot be solved. So uh, given this, we can now rewrite these equations because now we could say that this just equals a general tension force. So let me rewrite these equations. So this is going to be... So now that we have that um, error fixed, we can now actually solve for this um, system of equations because now we have three unknowns and three equations. So what is simple, what we can do, we could solve for T but because we know W and then plug in those values for the other equations to find P and Q. So after solving these equations, these are the values I get for T, Q, and P which we only need P and Q to, so to solve this problem, but we also found the tension force within the cables.